Hello, my name is Amelia Bradshaw and I am the ArcGIS Pro Product Advocacy Lead at Esri. Today, I will take you through a tour of the top 10 items that were added to ArcGIS Pro 3.2. In ArcGIS Pro 3.2, we added a variety of new features, focusing both on innovation and our commitment to ArcMap equivalency. These include new field data types, a new data set for managing imagery, improvements to our scene capabilities, several major ArcMap equivalency items, and other popular user requests. Interested to see what these features are? Here, let me show you. In ArcGIS Pro 3.2, you can create a representation of your geodatabase schema with the Generate Schema Report tool. In the Catalog pane, right-click on your geodatabase. Hover over Export, and in the Context menu, choose Generate Schema Report. In the Tools pane, define an output location and give your report a name. You can choose between JSON, XLSX, HTML, and PDF, or select all to see which format you prefer. This is what the Excel output looks like. The report will open on the table of contents, and you can use hyperlinks to navigate back and forth between sheets. You can sort and filter as you normally would in Excel. When you're done, you can go back to the default geodatabase sort using the geodatabase order field. Now in Pro 3.2, you can edit in a single workspace, which supports discarding edits for non-version data. You can enable this in the editing options within the session group. Now this option is enabled, you will see a new pane appear when you click Edit. This shows you all available workspaces in your project. You can view editability status for each workspace, along with the layers in a selected workspace that are present in the map, plus any warnings or errors for them. Now let me do some edits on one of my feature classes that is non-versioned. After the edits are complete, I can choose to save these edits or discard them. In Pro 3.2, we added a new shortcuts experience to help you manage your shortcuts in Pro. I'll access this option through Command Search. Here, I assign the Open Geoprocessing pane command a new shortcut, Shift-G. I attempt to change the Select by Attribute command shortcut, but run into a conflict. I avoid this by assigning the command the Shift-T shortcut instead. Now I begin my workflow, primarily using shortcuts. I add a new file geodatabase to my folder with Control-Shift-D shortcut. Then I use the Control key to select two feature classes, copy and paste using shortcuts, and then use Control again to select both and add them to the map. After the feature classes are added, I execute my newly assigned Shift-T shortcut to open Select by Attributes. I use the mouse to select a name value and apply the changes. I use the Shift-G shortcut to open the geoprocessing pane. I search for and locate the click tool and run it. This is a quick example of the kinds of edits you can now make to shortcuts in ArcGIS Pro. This map, I have a group layer showing racial data for neighborhoods of the city of Boston from the 2020 census. By changing the group type to radio, new in Pro 3.2, I can make it so only one layer is visible at a time. Now I want to create a layout for each of these layers. In 3.2, I can use a thematic map series which creates a new page for each layer in a chosen radio group layer. As I scroll through them, I can see my text and legend update dynamically for each page. Pro 3.2 now offers four new field data types. Date only, which stores the date but no time values. Time only, which stores the time but no date values. Timestamp offset, which allows you to store date and time and also includes an offset from UTC. And big integer, when you need to store whole numbers that exceed the long integer data type range. You can add these new field data types on a new or existing table or feature class using the Create Feature Class Wizard, the Add Field Geoprocessing tool, and the Fields view, where they are accessible from the Data Type drop-down list. 
Related to these new field data types are two new concepts, 64-bit object IDs and high precision time. By default, tables and feature classes are created with 32-bit OIDs. However, there are circumstances where certain object ID values need to be greater than 2.14 billion. The Migrate Object ID to 64-bit geoprocessing tool can be used to migrate the object ID field to 64-bit. You can use the Migrate Date field to High Precision Geoprocessing tool to migrate existing time values in a date field to High Precision, which enables the date field to store seconds with up to millisecond precision. Oriented Imagery Layer is a new layer type for managing and visualizing images in the context of a map. With the Explore Images tool, click on the map to see the best image of that location in the Oriented Imagery Viewer. The image's footprint updates in the map as you pan and zoom in the image. You can also reference footprints of additional overlapping images. Use the Navigation tool to explore additional images of the same location from different directions. You can also adjust image brightness, contrast, and sharpness. With the Map Image Location tool, click a pixel in the image to locate it on the map, or click the map to find the corresponding image pixel. Oriented imagery datasets are created using geoprocessing tools, shown here. You can share an oriented imagery layer to the web using the Pro Sharing Workflow. In local or global scenes, you can now choose a 3D base map from the Base Map dialog when your active portal is set to ArcGIS Online. 3D base maps leverage global OpenStreetMap buildings and trees data, allowing you to easily add reference data to enhance your scenes. If you already have your own 3D content, no problem. You can create a mask on any of the scene layers to include or exclude a 3D feature. Once you sketch out a polygon, then you can turn on your own layer in this case, a BIM dataset, to match up your data with the base map. Check out the 3D base map today to enhance your scene with buildings, trees, and labels. Reedy tiles are an OGC standard similar to I3S scene layers, which allows you to work with integrated mesh or 3D object data types. You can now add a new 3D tiles layer through the Add Data dialog or by right-clicking on the data set in the catalog pane, as I have done here. Visualize 3D tiles data similar to scene layers and leverage capabilities such as exploratory analysis. Here, you can add a view shed and analyze which features are visible or not from a specific point. Check out this new layer type using third-party 3D tile datasets, as well as those created from the ArcGIS Reality suite of apps. You can export all the style items of a project to a style in one step the style item option and sharing. You can allow duplicates in the style, for example, store two versions of the same color, one that is used in a map and another used in a layout. Or you can streamline the style by saving only one instance of each duplicate. The style is named the same as the project and stored in the home folder, unless you specify otherwise. The new style is connected to the current project where you can refine style item names, tags, and other properties. All the symbols, colors, and layout items used in any map, scene, or layout in the project are organized into one style file that you can use in a different project or share with someone else. Adding an authentication connection to Azure Active Directory provides a secure way to access data in cloud stores. After signing in and authorizing the application, you can use your Azure AD identity to create a new cloud storage connection. Enter a name, select either Azure or Azure Data Lake as the provider, choose the authentication connection created earlier, then provide the account name and container to access. Once connected, you can work with raster data in the application 
or share cache datasets with ArcGIS Enterprise. That wraps up our top 10 new features in ArcGIS Pro 3.2. For a full list of everything new in this release, please head over to the What's New documentation for ArcGIS Pro. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy working in this new release of ArcGIS Pro.